Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, Friday afternoon. Okay, it's about 12 o'clock here in Tucson, Arizona. I hope you guys are doing well. So this morning I upload uh, the glass mocha pot this morning. And then as I know some of you already saw the video, but it was very weak, okay? And so, you know what? I'm going to make better mocha pot this afternoon. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm going to shout out to John. Uh, John sent me uh, his recipe. So I'm going to follow his recipe a little bit. So he told me that he likes to use just a tiny bit coarser than the espresso grind size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my grinder size a little coarser than my espresso. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust my grinders because unfortunately my Mazar Mini grinder does not have any number system. So I'm going to slightly coarser and, and then I think I'm going to do, let's see, let's try 18 gram. Okay. I'm going to try 18 gram of espresso. And uh, according to John's recipe, he doesn't fill to the top maybe halfway and he just lightly pat it. So that's, uh, so let's do that. So this afternoon I'm going to be using big house coffee, uh, big house beans from California, the tasting note, chocolate, cherry, and raisin. It's going to be delicious. So let's get going. Let's see here. I got my scale. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see it from there. Again, okay, my office, the lighting is not the best, but hopefully, hopefully you guys can see it better. Okay, there we go. I'm going to be, let's do 18 gram. Okay. I'm just going to measure out an 18 gram here. I wonder, hold on. I wonder if I can give you guys a better view of my process. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, that'll work. So I got 17. You know what? Let's do 18.2 gram. Okay, close enough. So, you know what? Again, the mocha pie is a lot easier than I thought. Okay, that was really easy. So, that's very enjoyable to work with. Okay. So, in the meantime, so I'm not going to use the cold water uh, according to recipe, kind of like the medium warm. So, my water temperature should be around medium there. Okay, I'm just gonna get my grinder. Okay. So pretty much I convert my mother grinder to single dose. So, I mean, it works pretty good so far. And then as we, simmers delicious. Again, it's very, it's not an espresso grinds, but slightly coarser. So I'm just gonna put it in here. Actually it fits pretty good. So this is 58 millimeter dosing cup. So. And then, according to John, he likes to lightly pat, okay? Like so. So let's do that. Kind of like halfway. Kind of like halfway there. I'm just gonna tap it. And I'm gonna be using medium, kind of like medium heat, the water. Okay. At this point, just my water is ready so uh, right below the the valve steam valve right below the steam valve there we go and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one in again really simple I'm just going to lock it in like so. Water's not that hot, so. Because I know, I saw one of James Hoffman's video, he used a hot water, but 
Yeah, let's see who's, I got Brent is in the house. All right, so let's do it. And then what I'm gonna do is once uh, I hear kind of like gurgling sound, I'm gonna be stopping. So, let's see, here we go. I'm just gonna start my index on stove top. I think it's gonna be goes pretty quick. You know, let's do medium heat. It's about 275 uh, Fahrenheit. Let's see. You know what, this is a lot easier than making coffee through my Rancherly or Serbia for sure, guys. You just go on coffee in, just wait. So this is a glass uh, mocha pot from Rumia. I'm gonna put the link down below. I'm gonna shout out to Iran to sending me this. We're just kind of like waiting game here. Okay, we got, let's see. We got C. Kim say, you heard the World Championship Mocha Pot recipe? Okay. You are still... Let's see, we got Mohammed told me that why don't you replace your Rancilio with the rockets? I think is I'm gonna be playing with the Rancherio for another couple of weeks, and I'm still this is my first week, so you know I like to give at least couple of weeks, give it a try if there's something I like to keep. Okay, so we are still going. So definitely the grinder setting is a lot finer than this morning, so. Okay, I hear some noise there. There we go. It doesn't take that long. So one of, so one of I hear the gurgling, gurgling noise, I'm gonna be stopping. It looks pretty good so far. Okay, and then the color looks good as well. It looks a lot better than this morning. Actually, yesterday. Okay, looks really good. There we go. And I'm gonna be stopping. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cool down the, I think I'm gonna cool down the pot by, I have cold water ready, so hold on. On my refrigerator here. Because you want to cool down the coffee as soon as possible so so here's what I like to do and then get my cup ready let's see let's see here look like we have some guests here we have some guests my friend from next door. I'm here for a cup of coffee. Okay, hold on a second. Let's see. Okay, hold on. We got some guests. Okay, anyway, we got some guests from next door. I'm gonna try this coffee, okay? 
Smells really good. You know what? A lot better than uh, yesterday. So, so this is how I make mocha pot. And then hopefully I'm going to dial it in a little better. And then hopefully I can give you guys a better recipe for the next few days. By the way, so I have a friend over there, uh, Lenny. And Hi. then we have uh, his dog. Let's see, where is his dog at? The Nikki is, yep. Yep. He's a, he's a trained attack dog. <laughs> go ahead, Dickie. Go say hi to your uncle who. Okay. <laughs> there he goes. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and make sure to follow me on Instagram and see you guys next time.